Okay. Hello there, everyone. Welcome. Um, we're gonna be, I guess, starting off with some side quests. <sighs> if I knew arrived, now I just need to see about getting your... <sighs> I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those at... What exactly are you celebrating? If you don't mind me asking. I've come by... Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds... So you'll do it. You won't need to go far. Ulf is Oldrich the Porter, three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Stop by again when you let the... I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna bring my microphone down and up a bit, like so. Okay. Hopefully this will be good. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the system and we're going to fix subtitles. There we go. <sighs> Bullet, you know, good sir. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. You must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. It's Soraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Damn. All right, then. Uh, next person, shall we? Uh, you there. What do you have, good sir? I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and... He offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. And what is the worst? Any idea where he's, he's dead or he's alive? Him. The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grey. Can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Porter for hire! Best service! Alrighty, and what do you have for me, good sir? you happen to be a fight? That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts sent to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, 
of Zemeckis. Was Zemeckis? Yep, we will. Obviously, yours. every quest Wonderful. is and just now, another chance to prove ourselves to the gods where are we going? that we are no mythos. Zemeckis. Road. Zemeckis. Onward to quickly. <sighs> Wait. I'm always tired. Good luck with your Nanderwells. All right then. Let's do the stuff in town first. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Oh god, they're so far away. What the fuck? Why are they so far down? Motherfuckers. Can you guys sit a little bit closer next time? Come on. What's even down here other than a shitty market that doesn't sell anything? Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclay clearly isn't suffering then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. It's a good idea. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Tight fisted sweat. The Empire's your enemy, not us. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it? The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. I've never said no to a Gotan. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. He must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but... We've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. Baby, I don't want any of your peaches. <sighs> Good sir, what do you have for me today? Spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Bocklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> And more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous and many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken.
All right, let's get going. I hear the brothers found another victim. I believe it. All right. What's that? The third dismount. Okay, we're gonna head over to this first stop here. See what's going on for us right now. And how might the Crimson Caravan serve you to pay luck? Bum 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 ba da bum. Bum 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 ba da dum bum bum. Just information. Has a cell sword passed through here? Now you mention it, there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. Which way did he go? I buggered off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same? People would probably be a lot nicer to you and way more helpful if you tossed a couple coins their way whenever they give you a hand. You realize that, right, dude? Why am I not surprised? You'll hand over your coin. And that's how you kill people very easily. So, there you go. Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them, with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Not in the Though slightest. We ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible. Whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> okay, so this is a little history lesson for the world of Zemeckius and Final that? Fantasy in general, I'm assuming. Good girl. Straight home now. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here. Why wouldn't they? And who do we have here? Some thieves? Some goblins. I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Yeah! 
I forgot we have this move. Apparently that move is uh, an aerial attack, and uh, it does a lot Let's of damage when you smash with. the ground. Stop! Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Joseph. So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know why that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them, full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I haven't been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them? And earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Bogolat. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and... Don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot of sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I guess so. I Why not? It. I Thank can you. do that for you, buddy. Jokeby, let's go. Yeah. Should just call you Ambrosia. It's your name. See how high she can jump? She's such a good girl. Okay. Alright then. First. Dead. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, a final sin in... As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was weighed. In reaching for their holy sanctum, did man enrage the gods. And great... Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. But we must not dwell upon such things. Onward!
Ooh, that's pretty cool. You can see it, how it goes right down deep into the earth. Okay, he's dead. Easy. I wasn't fully paying attention because I was trying to do special things and stuff with that iconic ability or whatever for the aerial attack, but it's fine. It worked out, so I'm not worried. Still in one piece. It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt, and once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes. Though Moss, the chronicler, concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath, wrought up, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. Not if you keep running head first. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked glad to help, but... I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, you see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. Fine. What a side quest. This way I could have done without. And so ends it here. Your reward for Better be like a thousand zuck bucks. <sighs> Not a single penny. Okay, well. Fuck you, I guess. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, thank you for putting my mind. Money. Please and thank you. Thank you very much. 800 gil. Okay. To the hideaway it is then. 
Let's go to the hideaway. And we'll have to go read some things, I guess. Go read a note or two. As well as pick up a reward or three. Just kidding. A reward or two. I bet. We're gonna get two they rewards. Told me she was building a ship. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back. I cleric's medallion. Here you are. Cool. Any diamonds for me? You a diamond in the rough, buff. Don't you find it tough, tough. There's like 27 hunts, I think it said, in the game. That was what, like seven on each row? I don't know where Sid gets the energy. I still want to see what the fucking diamond blade looks like because we got a platinum sword. I want to see what the diamond sword looks like because even though it's not better than what we got, it still seems interesting. The diamond sword is only slightly worse. And? But we, you need a diamond to get it still, which is a pain in the fucking ass, clearly. Let's go to Buck God and just fucking do this quest now, finally, and continue on with the main story. Please and thank you. Let me carry your goods out of my sight, wretch. Okay. Tired again. No chocobo riding, no sprinting, nothing. Come on, come on. Thank God it's just right here. Not any further that I need to travel. Okay. What I really want to be. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. And it's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your past. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Goots is training to be a blacksmith? What the? Who's he training with? <laughs> I never fucking see him working any sort of forge or anvil. Motherfucker, you don't train by right. daydreaming. You we gotta to fucking put work. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. M mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go.
The most wanted man in the continental states. Seat of the Imperial Court. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. 
You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored. Okay. He's about to kill a kid. And the bitch of a mother. That'll be pretty good for us. It'll mean we are able to easily get to the crystal then. Because they'll be too busy fighting off a bunch of dragoons and, more importantly, Bahamut. Um, however, something tells me Olivier has uh, some sort of power over icons or something. I would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. But he won't have any control over us because we are not a regular icon, but rather an icon that's outside of the sphere of the known elements. The harbor is empty, and half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge? It might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. We're going to see Bahamut. Is it going to be... some rooftop jumping baby this way I like that we have Excalibur and we're gonna slay a dragon with Excalibur are we gonna see Bahama as we rise over the edge here we go 
The question is, is he in control or did he attempt to kill Olivier and then he got mind controlled or something? Fire in the sky. That's what I'm wondering. Is he trying to section off the capital the to prevent anyone from getting to it? Or what? The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Those were Imperial Dragoons. Okay, so we're hearing noises of the Imperial Dragoons then, basically saying to kill people. But, or to kill the knights, basically, essentially, that they're kind of revolting. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. First, we find Goots. I thought we said Goots was going to be fine. Just hope he's all right. You there! <sighs> Identify yourself! Do we have to? Forty six K. There's no doubt about it. They're dragoons. What is this then? The Civil War. It seems so. Oh, we have to go down. Okay. Thought we we're gonna do some jumping stuff. Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. left Where in Grigger's name did you come from? The goods left. What do you mean? Just because the lift is for goods doesn't mean it can only be used for goods, you know? 
I feel like that's a little bit of an oversight. Or an undersight? I don't know what the... I'm pretty sure oversight is the correct term. Oh, there we go. My ability's wrong. God, man, the game is kind of rough. Let's just bolt this guy down with thunder. Oh my fucking god, of course it went to the fucking guy that was on the ground. And the guys that were in the air. Cause why would I not want to hit the guys in the air right next to me? You know? Like, come on, man. How do you not realize what my goal was there? We're going this way. Just a random door. I gotta trump the camera movement. It's a little too slow for me. <laughs> he says after so many hours in the game. That's a lot better, I think, actually. That's the wrong move. Damn it. Uh, it's because you don't know I'm fucking it up. Because I just watched a... I was just finished editing a video where I was still using that control scheme. Where I had Phoenix, Titan, then Garuda. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, oh yeah, I have Phoenix, Titan, and Garuda. So that's why I used the wrong ability there. I meant to use Titan. Look, We're coming. I just got to get that through my skull again. Uh, I think three might be better. There. That's a little bit better. You guys see that parry I got there? You guys impressed with that? I am. This is going to be the most damage I've gotten in any combo. 
62k. Yep, there we go. Deal over 50,000 damage while the enemy is staggered. Yep. That's uh, that's an improvement over most of my other abilities. And you want to make no? Do you want to would make it even better? Uh, more limit break would make it a lot better. I feel. Uh, and then I guess leveling up this, the straight punch to the face there. Okay, cool. I don't need to worry. About, I don't think mastering increases damage. Um, so. Uh, I'll have to look up if mastering increases damage or if it just allows you to use it on other uh, icons. I feel like it's probably just other icons can use it. That's all it does. Now, the real question is, is that would they give us Bahamut power so Enemy soon the after the other powers that we just got, you know? Or is that what this part of the game is going to be? It's going to be a lot quicker. Or are they going to go crazy with him? Give us Odin next. Sir Barnabas. And Bahamut's going to like a fight, but he's going to survive. Are we even going to fight Bahamut? I don't know. Let's we'll see. I'm wondering if we have a reason to fight Bahamut. The only reason I see for us fighting Bahamut is if the Phoenix ends up coming out to play. And he ends up starting to get hurt by Bahamut. And then we come in, save him. Uh, and take Bahamut on ourselves or if we end up seeing that they're trying to kill Prince Olivier we find out that he's technically our half-brother and we don't want to see that happen to him those are the only ways we I see this happening see where anyway? we have to fight Bahamut is if either Joshua gets pulled in Goots dies or something else <clears throat> Why is there a dragon? Where's the dragoons? Shouldn't they be here for this shit? It must be one of the dragoons' pets. You want to hit these in the orders of abilities like this. There we go. Another 60k. 80,000. Yeah, no, that's so easy to do damage, man, with that move. I meant to get out of there.
That's the issues I'm focusing on the head. You can't be fo as much as I want to focus on the head. It's so hard to get like actual points of damage on the head. Please, camera, could you not, like, be an absolute piece of shit? Damn it. I was supposed to hit him with this fucking at the very end to finish it off. Most of my abilities will recharge by the time I break this dagger bar, so I can go full ham on it. I should be dead. Let's finish off with the lightning, shall we? There we go. Oh, is that going to give me the white rearm bones or whatever it is that I need for some of my items there? The silk thing or whatever, I think? Yeah, white worm bone. Gives me three. Interesting. That was an easy fight. Dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell is it doing up there?
behind us. Don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Oh, he just turned into the phoenix? And we're going to see that. We're going to see the phoenix flying to the sky to fight him. What the fuck is going on, man? So the crystal is reforming to protect itself. Cause it, and it's also probably trying to control Bahamut. That's the whole point, right? That Ultima is in control of the crystals, I'm assuming. We do now then. We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A Neve use lot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Thank you. Okay, so he's like a last minute shop, I guess, to buy things from? What does he have? I'm assuming he's... Do I've got some good stuff for you. A diamond sword, huh? How else I can do for you? Yeah, see, the issue is that the diamond equipment isn't really worth it, you know? The silken sash, it's not, it, it doesn't do anything for me. The diamond sword, on the other hand, I mean... Finished. It's I not think. better, unfortunately, but... I did it! You want us to make you something? Anything else I can make for you? Everything you need, then. The diamond blade looks kind of neat, kind of swifty. But in comparison to well, that's thirteen. This gives me plus three. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I'll try it out for now. I oh, I need to buy potions just to make He's sure I'm out. stocked up. Uh, hopefully, I won't need them. I'm gonna try and do potionless boss fights. I think that's only fair. Is there how else you need? I'm Thank kidding, you. by the way. There's no All one doing close to this boss fights. I'm not stupid. I'm not that good at the game. I'm not even close. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Oh, it's past time. But and I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Don't you worry, Jill. I uh, think I know what I'm doing now. Think I know how to transform? Well, we'll see. Once we get into the sh 
thick of it. That's when we'll find out if I know how to transform or not. But we'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Just what we need. Another flood. Already turned them. Then there's no reason to hold back. <laughs> Yeah, if Titan's block is really good for one-on-one -on -one fights. Good luck trying to fucking block shit mid-fight. You're much better off just dodging. But when you're one-on-one, -on -one, Titan's block is so nice. Getting off that really nice counters and stuff. What are my, actually, items there right now? What is this guy? Increased ability points still, right? Okay, I'll keep it. It's still useful. You, you, you. I should kill them all. down from your height hit you with a face full of rock hit you with this and then hit you with this go demon trigger form hit you with this and then I hit you with this and then hit you with thunder as soon as I get back down hit you with some doggos Wait, is it the yellow or the red that you want to let go in? I need 800. Um, one second. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, why is it triangle? Are you fucking kidding me? Damage and effects relative to height from which abilities exude. The higher, the more potent the attack. Battle techniques during arcade mode. Okay, interesting. Increases bolts. Okay, yeah, got it. Okay, so mastery just allows you to assign it to any icon. In other words, the only thing you want to do is get them up to upgrade then. You don't need to worry about mastering. That's what a that's what I thought it was. It's good to know that that exists. It's awful that I never saw that it exists. I'm sure it probably mentioned it in the uh oh, what I think it is. There we go. Lightning bolt down by 3 now or 9 seconds, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. 
that's going to be a lot more nice to use than that. Ignition damage for 12% still nice, I guess. Because I don't want to just be spamming ignition all the time just because it has a low cooldown. As good as ignition is, it's a super fucking good ability. Uh, it's not a good idea, I think, to just spam it. <laughs> uh, let's go. That's why we're going to fight Don't Bahamut. Die. It's too dangerous. Fuck. Hold on, Joshua. I'm coming. We have to save him. And we will. We just need to keep moving. Thank you for the three sharp fangs. What was that? Bahamut. He'll kill us all. Oh, we're currently climbing around the crystal right now, I think. I think we're actually on the crystal that we're trying to destroy now. That was pretty obvious. So it should have been done regardless. Now, will Joshua die here? I think it's very possible. We'll see. I think we know Bahamut, unfortunately, is going to have to die. I think we're going to find out something special about Olivier, and more importantly, Annabelle, that I've been suspecting, which is that she's not entirely um, the best person in the world. It's an understatement, I know. Okay, this is what we got here. Oh, I thought I had that ability still. way to go thank you buddy it's way too fucking blue uh what's going on cool fix that uh 
do 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 that way I know in the video went uh, when I fixed it a bit better. Um, anyways, I didn't realize that my crop was fucked up there. Of course it was. Is Wait, is my deep color on again? Is that why? Okay, not that. One second. It is on again. Okay, and that'll fix my thing to where I don't have to zoom in. I'm correct. Yeah. There we go. Because deep color got turned on, so now I know how to fix that. I just gotta turn off deep color and run good. That's so annoying. How are they still standing? I don't know. We're gonna find Olivier in the form of Ultima or something. Uh Mythos. Glad to see you could make it. He'll be alright, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. You should be moving a lot quicker, buddy. You're very slow. Like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. So this is a pet of Ultima, I'm assuming.
just use ignition because it charges very quickly. Ah, fuck, I switched when I didn't need to. I didn't mean to use this one. Oh well. We're good. That's gonna be a lot faster than that, you slow bitch. Why are you so slow with that move, man? You really pissed me off with that, you know that? Dude, fuck off, you stupid scam callers, before I fucking hack your IPs and fucking murder your families. Honestly, they're pissing me off. I'd never do that, because I don't fucking have anywhere near that ability to do it, but... <laughs> God, I also wouldn't kill someone over scam callers. Like that's that's extreme. Um, for me at least. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on: the heart. There you go. Uh, this way? I'm assuming it's this way. Cool. I was right, it was this way. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. you made with the Emperor why mother why did you betray us all you have no right <gasps> answer him we took you in savage show some respect for those who raised you <gasps> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek. 
that I might join my line with the Lesages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix! <sighs> you sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... We're gonna transform just like that because we know how to now. absorbing ether from the crystal. Oh, I think he's doing it better than Titan, though. That's the difference. Was Titan just ate the ether and ended up going full berserk or whatever? 
I think he's actually absorbing the ether properly, which is why we're seeing this more unique style of the crystal opening up and releasing its power to him. Is this going to be the battle arena? Oh, oh baby. Oh, baby. This is a fucking fight arena. The Phoenix has come back, yeah. Joshua! No! We got another ability, baby! Let's see number two. What's number two? Is it gonna be like in a rage state? Spirit flare or spirit fire. We'll face the consequences. Is that ability number two? Or is that our limit break? Clever has learned the ability Spit Flare from Bahamut. Oh, press right trigger and try to release a master stream of light that steers everything in this path. Let's see what happens when I hit him with the full fucking beam. Oh, does this slow the stagger? It does. One, one million. One and a half million. That's good damage. I like that it, this is a combo fight between us and our brother. Like, that's really sweet. But I, unfortunately, I don't think we're both living. Uh, and I don't think we're dying just yet. We can't, but there's someone who can. No! Is Shiva out now? I'm assuming Shiva's out. That sounds like Shiva with the blue light. We're gonna swap controllers. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're playing as the Phoenix for a little bit then. All right. Okay. Embodying the Phoenix again. Move, fire, charge, fire, hold, and R one to evade. 
Uh, use uh, L while holding circle to lock onto multiple targets. Oh. Uh, all build is available in bottom of the in the Phoenix tab. Fireball, charge, flame, volley, dodge, precision, dodge, and fire, plight. Oh, did he hit me there? Fuck. I'm making damage this fight, but that's fine. Because we're getting a little bit too low for a month. This does more damage, I think, than just spamming, right? Well, this does more damage than anything else, I think, as well. It's also harder to get off. He knows he freaks back, so he's staying far away from it. Fuck me, man. And yeah, so when he's doing these moves, you just want to focus on evading his lasers using your volley, I think.
Yeah, the volley shot's really good if you can land your attacks a lot. Clive's not going to let you land that attack. Okay, Clive allowed you to land that attack. Control, I love how he also helped me with that move too. Going for the perfect counter. The Phoenix is a protector.
There we go. Time for the finishing moves. Who? That's gonna be lots of fun, I think. Mega Flare. Ooh, getting to use that. Bahamut defeated. Now the question is, are we gonna get? We might not even get Bahamut's powers. Honestly, this might have just been Bahamut defeated, and we're still gonna have to fight him later before we can actually claim his powers as our own. I think. Because I think it's a little bit too soon to give us another set of powers, I think, that's happening. What now? This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Are we going to fucking merge? Are we going to merge into one with wings? Yeah, we did. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Battle in the stars. Oh, yes. God, this is good. And we're going to have access to new abilities, I bet, that combine the phoenixes and our own. Are you ready? Ready. Is this going to be an actual boss fight, or is this going to be cinematic clashes? Let's find out. Ifrit Risen. So I'm assuming Ifrit has the ability to combine with other icons. Enhanced versions of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen can also access the light speed. All of it is available. Okay, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, what do we got? So we got melee combo. Okay, three times. Excellent multiple. No, triangle. Charge flame. Fireball burst. Okay, backlash. Use triangle immediately following a fireball burst.
dodge. Okay, precision dodge, swift recovery. Uh, X and square, okay. Burning fate, hold square, yes. Wildfire, circle to execute a fiery dash, okay. Light speed, hold the X to dash in. Brimstone, okay. Split flare, okay. And firelight, got it. How can we hope to match such power? By trusting in our own. I dash right into that. That's fine. Come on, I don't teleport through space and time. Blow up, and then we're going to hit him with a spit flare. Once that's done, we're going to dash inwards. Go. Spit flare. What? How did I not hit that? Okay. I don't have any of my abilities ready yet. Uh, 
with that. Okay, got him. I, I got close. I got to four. <laughs> Which was very scary because I didn't have any abilities up because I just used them before he started the counter. His eyes gonna open. Yeah, he's not done. Zeta Flare, huh? Not today. Come on, Joshua. You too? Yeah, come on. Poor Dion, man. Didn't deserve it, but. Okay, Bahamut defeated. For reals this time. Ah, <sighs> God. Gonna get his cool thing. I wonder what his weapon's gonna be. A light shard. Ooh, but what weapon it's gonna be? What is his weapon gonna fucking look like? We're gonna see the Mother Crystal finally pop out and then immediately destroy it? Destroy the Mother Crystal now. And we're going to take care of the crystal. Damn. So a lot of stuff happened there. Josh was not going to survive that fight. That was too much of his power. gonna hug my brother I I'm sorry I'm so sorry you're alive we both are nothing else matters <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day Is Dion back alive and good?
Yeah, Olivia was not a normal child. Oh, no. <laughs> it is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. The Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. Clive, what are you doing? You know what happens. I owe him a debt. Fine. I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Dion. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Dali, man, go! Your Radiance. By the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, father. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. A 
small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Father, how he doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kinslayer. story. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Mother. Okay, so Olivia was a mythos, our Ultima, sorry, or some sort of, um, type of Ultima, right? Um, and he, in his last kind of thing, probably cursed Annabella to see Joshua as some sort of shadow, or maybe she saw him as Ultima. When Drake's tail come under attack by the heart of the Mother Crystal, responded by delving into its attacker's innermost thoughts and summoning into creation that which most plagued his torture soul, the wyvern tail that represented the trust Prince Dion's father placed in him and his duty to the realm. It's really now. consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and 
that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. So Ultima's not sealed then, Relax. right? Relax. Your Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time if that is your wish men you are as meek as all the others such feeble creatures Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment. Their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, May Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. And this is his wife, probably. Okay, so they're all simps. Okay, now uh, it's really Game of Thrones, huh? <laughs> They're really pushing that Game of Thrones vibe. Okay, crystal's gone. There's one last crystal. I mean, we'll be going over there once we build ourselves a nice good old... Uh, build ourselves a nice good old airship. We'll be flying on over there. So, you know. Is there going to be something in the horizon that we can see now, forever, from all the different zones, I bet? How is your brother?
asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. No. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. The power of light. Clive has cleaned a portion of an icon's Bahamut's essence. To a Bahamut not only changes the element aspect of magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target. Using Bahamut's iconic feet, Wings of Light, to cast Mega Flare, a messy powerful spell that shows enemies with Deluge of Searing Light. Disturb Joshua. God damn it. Okay. Now how are we gonna fit this into our combo strings? Am I gonna drop, I guess? Does he have good will damage? He has one move with good will damage. Impulse. We need some will damage. We don't have much will. Yeah, we got very little will damage, so we definitely want some form of it. Huh. I'm considering, like, what if we tried to master this ability here? If we tried to master that, we could get some good use out of it. Wait, Mega Flare Dodge, can you? gonna be the worst ability fucking ever I 
Okay, here, let's drop this judgment bolts. Let's pop it in. What is this? Oh, yeah, I get Giga Flare. Are you kidding me? Duh. Why wouldn't I get Giga Flare? And then if I master, oh, if I ma if I master it, I can put it in a different fucking ability slot to get rid of like this or something upheaval. Mastery just makes it so that way I can put on any icon. So let's upgrade. Let's upgrade all my abilities here. That way I can use them a lot better. Yeah. So in terms of will damage, it's like definitely Garuda, which I'm assuming Odin must have some pretty good will damage. Either that or Odin's just going to be pure fucking damage, but this looks fun. While he rests. Did I, do I, did I upgrade Flare Breath? I think I did. Let's not upgrade that because we're going to be swapping that out. I want to keep Impulse. That way I have some well level it. of fucking will damage going on. Because otherwise everything else is just like going to be so fucking slow. Okay, so impulse there and then Giga Flare here. Okay, should be fun. Let's see. Just to say. My dear boy, uh, Journey to Canva has been... Oh, I'll have you know I ain't never shed a tear in front of no one, not even my mother, and you won't soon catch me doing that like again. So if it's please your lordship, we can both forget about the whole damn thing. The set I chose to follow all them years ago is gone. There ain't no dragging him back from the depths of whatever hell he's talked his way into. But his legacy that lives on, and you and everyone else here at the hideaway, sure as sky's blue. At least I think it's still blue. As long as it is, I'll be right here where you can count on me. Uh, I trust you and your party gain the dominance without further event. Oh, gained... Gain the dominion. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. Cool. Uh, curse breakers, reports from our brothers and sisters afield, all the same. The curse of the skies cast not only a pale over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the dominion and the destruction of Storm's final mother crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood, do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is ever dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. Word of the twin side is that there's little left of the capital after Mad Prince's role tantrum, but what of you and yours? Okay, first things first, what's new to buy? Clive. There's gonna be a new sword. Going purse weighing you down. Nope. Not the diamond. And how were you going to carry all that? Not without the coin, you don't. It's better I'll be here. You'll not find a better price than that. That's super good. That's very necessary, too. Okay, let's see what this dragon blade looks like. It better be fucking cool. Only upgrade by five? Wait a minute. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Compared to Excalibur, is this just worse? No, it's better by two. Okay, that's a pretty cool sword. All right. Well, for now, that's it, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, awesome. I'm glad we got to do the Bahamut fight. Ugh. And I was wrong. We did get new abilities very quickly, one after another, huh? Yeah, I guess until next time there. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, awesome. If not, that's fine, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everyone.